hey guys, a big welcome back to Yak City Gaming. I've been away for quite some time. First thing, we're, uh, I'll explain all that in just a moment. We'll get to it. 61 overall for Roy Shan. Somebody was asking me about his stats, so here they are. As you see, he's ignoring his fielding, as has been a constant theme throughout all the episodes. Fielding is the light last priority we're going to focus on. So, not going to face the Royal Riders. We're going to go against the Chiefs. In game one of a new series, batting second for Roy Shantz. He's been down 7-6, the occasional 5. Haven't seen him in the second spot yet for the Indianapolis Indians this year. So it's going to be interesting, to say the least. This should be a good game. So uh, a little bit about where I've been, what's been going on. Uh, just been crazy getting set up for college here in another month. Uh, work schedule has been hectic, to say the least. And life's getting in the way, but you know what? If I can get an episode out to you guys, I'm all the happier for it. So I hope you guys enjoy this one, as we will get right into it, as Roy Shantz will get up to the plate here for his first at-bat of the game. Should be a good one, as you see, veteran progress 2, so not too, too bad batting average for Shantz recently. He takes ball 1 there, so he's kind of developed over the last few months. Uh, games a good tendency to lay off bad pitches there you see him chase one the bottom kind of fell out of it so can't really blame him on that one and now he'll lay off another fastball way out of the zone this time so a little bit easier than the last one to take and now he's looking to maybe hit something nope instead of palm ball will come way inside and now it's the three and one four chance and Shantz will look at this one, and it's going to be high in the zone, but he's going to ground out to the shortstop. Maybe not. Yes, unfortunately, he will. That one looked like it could have gotten away from the first baseman just a little, but he was able to handle it, and that's not an issue over there. As you now see, Shantz will back up at third. He still doesn't have the whole positioning figured out at third, so he never really has a sure clue. And as you see, this one gets right under his glove. A weak effort by Shantz, showing maybe why he shouldn't be over there at third that was that was very weak to say the least and now he'll get another at bat so chance is a bat here progress has gone down one of course after that bad pop out earlier on in the game and he's going to chase a bad high fastball inside just a little that's when he's got to learn to relax off of and uh Maybe, if anything, take the other way, hoping he doesn't pop out. And he's going to pop out on a medium height, maybe palm ball, I want to say. And that is not going to result in anything productive for chance. Now, of course, De Los Santos, I don't know if you guys know the story behind him. He's one of the Operation Sports Forum's rosters, A overall, or A potential guys. I don't really know how well he's doing. I know he's been doing okay, but he was on the disabled list, so I'll keep you up to date on him. I want to see if he can grow alongside Chance as well, because that would be interesting development, to say the least. Somebody Chance would play alongside with either the Pittsburgh Peng Penguins. I always want to say the Penguins. My mind is rooted in hockey. No, Pirates, or else maybe someone he plays against as a star for another team that could be an interesting development to say the least as well so chance will get another at bat here and we are still on progress one for veteran batting so after that terrible pop-up two straight terrible pop-ups chance will swing and miss on the palm ball that's been an effective pitch for this man tonight i i don't know if chance just isn't seeing it come out in his hand or what? That is just full chance all night, and he's going to rip this one the other way, and that looks like an error out there. Don't know if that ball got down or hit off the glove first, but either way, chance is aboard, and it was a total waste of time being on base, so we're not even going to bother showing it to you guys. So, chance next at bat. He's out for three, so obviously it was an error. So that kind of sucks for chance. That should have been a base hit just to break his average up a little bit better. And now he's going to look at another palm ball, this time laying off of it instead of maybe popping it up or getting it out in the outfield. And now Chance will fall that one off straight back. I don't know how that didn't hit the ump. Wow, that one was flying, a 92 mile an hour flat fastball. Ooh. 
And now Shans with a chance, and he's going to strike out on what looked to be a curveball or something. And that will end Shans' chance of driving in an RBI. So Shans back out in the field here. He needs to get a good fielding opportunity here, maybe turn around his night, give himself some encouragement. And that's exactly what he's going to do as he gets a good throw in from third, and the runner's nailed out at first. Now the batter for the Chiefs. Kind of different stance here for Chance, to say the least. He goes way back, and that batter is just not thinking. He's, he tries to bunt with two strikes, and that'll end that. And now Chance, top of the ninth. Chance to maybe turn this game around for the Indianapolis Indians. We're getting close to the end of the video. Something's good got to happen to him. Let's go, Chance. Let's see what you got, buddy. And he's going to pop out. The theme of the, this, I don't know what else to say. That's just disappointing to say the least. And that will end Chance's night as the Indianapolis Indians fall 5-1. to one. Please subscribe. Watch the last episode so long from Yak City.